How's it going? Yeah, yeah. Oh, doing pretty good, thank you. Nice day for a ride. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could ride off duty. Oh, yeah? Oh, man. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. What size engine is that? Wow. <laughs> Six, just a 600, yeah. <laughs> it rides safe. We have pretty cool cops here in Oregon. I mean, all cops are cool in my opinion. I'm pretty pro law enforcement. But uh, I'm of the mindset where treat them how you want to be treated and they'll treat you the same right back. You know, something I like to encourage people, especially if they have a negative uh, point of view of law enforcement is go do a ride along with your local police department or sheriff's office. I would recommend probably a, a city. If you have a bigger city next to you, I would go there and try and do it on like a weekend or something like that. If you have a negative outlook on law enforcement, and you go and do a ride along, you will have a 100% point of view change of law enforcement officers. Um, you'll get to talk to them, interact with them, ask them any questions you want to ask them about uh, being a police officer or things that they've seen, things that they've done. Uh, it was a totally eye-opening experience for me. I've done hundreds of them. I love going on ride alongs. Uh, so much fun. And if you're an adrenaline junkie and you like riding on a motorcycle and shit like that, then I, I highly recommend going on a ride along. Nothing gets your blood pumping more than doing a code three run through a, a busy area of town. It's pretty exciting. And then, you know, seeing everything that happens behind the scenes from the police officer's point of view, you know, the, the little information they have beforehand before getting to a potentially really dangerous call seeing the way they handle it, seeing the way that their training comes into use, and uh, you know, just seeing that they're people too, doing a tough job out there. Doing what most of the people want to ignore even really exists. Yeah, you better not pull out in front of me. Thank you. Anyway, so uh, the reason that I'm out and about on this cloudy, dreary day that looks like it's gonna fucking pour in a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to the Harley-Davidson dealership. I got another email the other day from the company that I won the motorcycle from, and they said that it is en route to the dealership right now as we speak. So I'm thinking probably like one to two weeks and it'll be here. <laughs> so here it is up here on the right. It's where Hopefully in a couple of weeks, I'll be picking up a new motorcycle. I'm pretty excited. I want to see if they have one here so I can sit on it. <laughs> Has like a fucking semi horn on it. That's awesome. There's another motorcycle cop. All right, guys. I was just at the Harley dealership here. Uh, I talked to a couple people. And they seemed to know what was going on. So I guess it's... Uh, the ball is rolling and the bike is on the way. So that's awesome. I sat on the, uh, the 48 that they had there in the showroom. And after sitting on it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fucking get rid of it. Because it was comfortable and it's fucking gorgeous. Like, holy shit. The one they had in there was green. And I want that fucking green. Like, it's like a dark OD metallic. It's fucking beautiful. The further I get this way, the more rainy it gets. Get out of my way. So just a quick little video to update you guys what's going on. So clearly it's really happening. I really did win. It's becoming very real to me now. Um, I can't wait to fucking ride it, you guys. After sitting on it. This is going to be exciting, having uh, two bikes to switch between. So thanks for checking out my video, guys. Uh, I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, I'm sorry, and I'll try harder next time. Uh, I know this channel is just going to keep getting better and better, 
with uh, more exciting content for you guys, especially with this new bike coming. Uh, we don't, I don't even know what the future holds in store for me. So um, stay tuned. Thanks again for checking me out, and make sure to uh, let your friends know about me. All right, guys. Peace.